YouTube, it's me again with another tutorial. In this one I'm going to show you how to uh, make uh, 3.5 rechargeable batteries, basic rechargeable, recharge it to the mains USB. This one you can find in all laptops, in the cordless screwdrivers and other application. You can salvage them and they are very good. One of these is 3.5 volts and he can easily replenish the two AA's batteries and for your project, small LED lamp, whatever. So there are two or three ways to do it. First of all, we can connect it as it is, just like this, couple of wires and that's it. But the power supply is rated for five volts and one amp. So it's gonna be a very fast charge on it so you can destroy the battery. You can put two of these, two batteries in parallel, plus and plus, minus and minus, and connect it as it is. And we're gonna lower the amps, like 500 milliamps. Or you can put a resistor across these leads. For making 250 milliamps, you can put a 20 ohm resistor. And for 500 milliamps, you can put a 10 ohm resistor. Or a simplest way, if you want to connect it for 250 milliamps, you can put four of these in parallel. Four of these are going to be plus and minus. Four leads on this side, four leads on this side, and just hook it up to the mains USB charger. Two, three hours of charging, and that will be it. You can then connect this power supply in series and you have a pretty rechargeable nice one 12 volts power supply for your project or stuff okay so let's get to it for this project we're gonna need a usb mains charger this is a european style one a couple of leads a usb multi-connector USB on this side and with this side we did had a couple of adapter that we didn't use it so we cut it and strip off the wires. We're gonna proceed to stripping out the wires. One So we are to the final one. I did manage to strip all the, the wires. I did use 4x4 four four distinctive wires, you know, black for the negative and red for the positive, but you can use whatever do you have on hand. So let's proceed with the actual soldering of the wires. If you know how to do this, it's very easy. Gonna connect now to the other end. There. I'm gonna attach it to the battery. battery is done remember this that this one is the positive and this side is the negative it's got a distinct thing white one proceed to the next battery this one still you are gonna have them all sorted you try different methods different things to hold the wire because it's a very tricky battery, it's very slippery. 
Finally, the last one. It was very tricky. Finally, we did finish to solder the leads. Now we're gonna connect in parallel. I'm gonna use just two for this project. Now we're gonna connect the plus with the plus, the red one basically. And the other leads, the minus. I did attach now the leads of the battery with to the leads of the USB connector and we're gonna put now some scotch tape here to not touch the leads each other. Now it's connected, but it's not plugged in the mains. You can see the actual voltage of the battery is 3.16 and now we're gonna plug it into the mains. So the mains connected, <coughs> here we got a voltage, is rising up 331. We're gonna let it sit for a while and we're gonna come back in an hour or two to see the voltage if it did increase and to make a couple of tests. As you can see, after a couple of minutes, the voltage increases to 3.62. We're gonna let it sit for a while and I'm gonna come back to you in a bit. That's it. We did stop it from charge. Now let's unhook it and test it to see actual power. As you can see, you can power your things, gadgets, and all other projects. You know, for here you go. They're working. Different LEDs, even a, a motor. Can you, can you hear it? So basically, this one is is equivalent of two of these. One of these, two of these. It's a little bit bigger, but overall it can uh, be more powerful, easy to charge, no special things, no whatever. That was it. If you like my video, thumbs up, subscribe and check out my other videos and see you soon. Thanks. Bye-bye.